My name's Peter Hall, Fruit and Hop Grower here in Marden. Um, you're watching probably the today's, uh, one of the two days we're picking uh, our organic hop crop. Um, we've been growing organic hops now since 1989. Prior to that, the family's been growing conventional hops for over 100 years here. Um, the organic hop crop is uh, picked and pressed up here on the farm and is then sold to the Witchwood Brewery over in Oxfordshire where they make it into their own organic beer, Circle Master, and they also brew all the Dutchy original ales under licence there. This year looks as if it's actually going to be a remarkably fine crop, despite enormous potential disease pressures. All the hops in the hedge have got terrible downy mildew, but uh, fortunately Trevor, our main, main man, has managed to keep the, um, all the, uh, the disease out of the hops by putting a little spray on here and there at the right moment. The tractor's driven into the far end of the picking shed. Chains are then hooked onto the uh, bar at the back of the draw sheet in the bottom of the trailer. The tractor draws forward and the hops are laid on the ground gently. You then have a team of hookers on who sort out uh, pick the top vine off the lump, pass it over to another one of the team who will then twist the vine onto the hook ensuring that the long end of the vine is over the top so the weight of the vine holds the, uh, the vine onto the hook. The machine works far better if you get a nice even flow, sometimes they miss hooks but if you've got a vine on every hook the machine works far better. As they're pulled up into the air, the binds untwist themselves, separate themselves, and they're then lowered into the main rotor banks, where rotating drums with sprung wire fingers on them pick off hops, laterals, leaves, and they drop onto a slow-moving belt underneath. It is amazing that the fingers that are sprung steel can flick the hops off so effectively without smashing them to pieces. The speed of the rotor banks is very important to ensure the hops are just flicked off and not smashed up or combed. Once the binds have been through the rotor banks, they pass by a saw which cuts them off from the hooks and they're dropped down into a chopper. This is a very heavy knife driven by a flywheel which will chop the binds into pieces about an inch long and they're then blown out onto a waste vine lump at the back of the building. Hops, laterals and leaves are carried out of the area under the rotor banks onto a roller bed where the hops and the leaves fall through the rollers onto a belt underneath and the vine goes through the lateral picker.